What's going on, everybody? I'm David Braley. I'm a professional singer with more than 20 years of experience performing on stages all over the world. And today I'm checking out some more League of Legends. This one drew me to it from before I even took a look at Heart Steel's Paranoia, uh, before I checked out KDA. Uh, this was one of the first things simply because it had Imagine Dragons on it. I'm just an Imagine Dragons fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have a huge list of their discography, but I have them on, they're on my Spotify playlist. I love their music. Um, Dan, the lead singer, is just awesome. I love that voice. Oh, was, all right. This is a song called Warriors. It was featured at the Worlds in 2014. It's the League of Legends World Championships in 2014. Here we go. I'm looking forward to it. As a child, you would wait and watch from far away But you always knew that you'd be the one to work while they all play And you, you'd lay awake at night and scheme Of all the things that you would change But it was just a dream Okay. Wow. First minute of, of this song. Well, that, that draws you in, doesn't it? I mean, exactly what League of Legends is trying to do with all of their new songs that come out in the World Championships. The idea is to draw you in and build up this epic, epic scene of awesomeness. And, I mean, what better group to do it than Imagine Dragons, really? Uh, obviously, coming out with that really cool sound, a cool effect over the piano, really kind of can tinny sound over that, that piano, uh, as if it was off in a distance, but then as it comes in and the more heavier music starts to come in of course you got dan's uh, phenomenal voice singing over and then as it comes in you hear the tippany start and then suddenly in the distance you can start hear the strings like they're picking at in the background it just builds and builds until this moment now and it's just so cool i love that yell that dan has that um that that i, I can't even i wouldn't even try to try to to match it but he has this yell this but this freeing, it's so up and over and it's so broad and wide. It doesn't scare me in like, oh, he's yelling, he's going to hurt himself or anything like that. It's not like a mud vein yell or a slipknot yell. It is, it's on note, it's on a pitch, it's, it, it, it's in the key and it just, man, the sound, the timbre of it, it's, it's unique and it's awesome. I really, really dig his voice and it matches this style of music. This collaboration works well. Let's keep listening. I'm going to try to see if I can't catch it before. Here we go. will come when you have to rise above the rest and prove yourself your spirit never dies farewell i've gone to take my throne above but don't weep for me because this will be the labor of my We're going to stop there. That, that's so cool. Listen, the lyrics. That's one thing I wanted to touch on. Because I think when, I don't know who did the lyrics, whether it's the band Imagine Dragons or whether it was a collaborative effort, either way, this it tells that story of how, you know, a 
from a video gamer's perspective, a uh, kid playing too many video games, getting yelled at by his parents for playing too many video games. He doesn't go out and play with the kids. He doesn't do this, blah, blah, blah. Now he's a multi-billionaire playing video, playing video games for a living in competition sport because it exists and parents never really quite got that, especially in my age. I mean, I never really got into it, but I know it was the first thing that would, if you got in trouble, the first thing that went away was like your Sega Genesis or your PlayStation. First thing that disappeared. Um, but uh, it's fun, funny because the the story shares such similar stories as with like uh, with musicians. I mean, when I was a kid, I did not. I I had a life. I was I was a skateboarder. Um, I had friends. I had local friends that I hung around on my block. But for the most part, like from high school on, from the beginning of high school on, man, I was in all these extra things i was singing with the chorus playing playing in the band i was jazz band dance and musical theater and uh, musicals and performances just trying to learn as much and take as much in so i never really did have a huge grouping of friends outside of what i was doing if i was doing a play or doing a musical if i was working on music in the chorus uh, solo whatever it may be i was always busy and that was kind of like that that was a bit of my world and i didn't really go outside of that so i didn't have the you know i didn't i didn't have the opportunity to get lost and you know become a big uh, become a massive pothead at 16 i was busy i was doing stuff you know i became one when i was 40 um but no it, it shares this that that story it's like how you work so hard and you love something so much that you don't get the normal things that everybody has as a ch in a childhood because you are so hyper focused on this one thing that you want and all it, it comes all down to this and it's just such a cool thing that you really could the cool song that you really could place anywhere you wanted a sport athlete this is like a love letter to the 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 kid that was still learning how to box step and only had a range up to an F. The kid who couldn't run that super fast 40 meters. The kid, or 40 yards. The kid that, 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 was, that couldn't beat the third level on Super Mario Brothers. You know, this was about, this goes back to all of that and that dream and that rush and that push. And I love it because it's such a positive message and we need more of that for everybody. Okay, let's keep going before I get on start thinking I'm on a TED talk. That, hear that? Violins in there? Tiffany's? Like that. Like that. Hmm. Beautifully bookended. That's awesome. Wow, beautifully bookended with a lovely eclipse. How cool is that? Now I tell you what, these this music from from uh uh, music from some of these these groups that are that are performing uh, for League of Legends. I mean, I've never heard such like intense music just so consistently. Like every single song has a, has an intention of building building uh, its intention, raising the stakes up right up here, building the suspense, making everything to feel so life or death, which is excellent because, you know, I, it's a competition and it should feel, oh, everybody should have that, that sense of just being into it and, and that energy. Um, yeah, digging the music, of course. Imagine Dragons were fantastic as I expected them to be. Um, Super grateful I found this. Grateful to you guys for a lot, uh, for listening and uh, wanting to listen to more. I'm going to keep going, so you tell me to stop. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.